Hey, today on 41 Garage and Grill, what are we doing today? I don't know. Hey, welcome to 41 Garage and Grill. If you like Jeeps, going on adventures, occasionally throwing something on the grill, this is a place for you. Um, we just left Hickory and we are wandering. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> We're wandering our way to uh, Kentucky is our goal. Red River Gorge is our goal today. We're going to see how long it takes to get there. We're just kind of going on the back roads. Our favorite place to be. And uh, we're not using the GPS or nothing. So uh, let's see how this goes today. We're getting some coffee and then uh, that's all I got for now, I guess. So we're making our first stop and this thing is sitting over here in the parking lot. I've never seen one of these before. It's really cool. It's called a, a Raider and it looks like it's made by Dodge. Imported for Dodge. I don't know nothing about it. I'm going to have to check this out when we get back home. But it's really cool. I think it's really cool anyways. And it's in awesome shape. So check out the inside. So, yeah, tell me what you think of that thing. Okay, so we're in Boone, North Carolina now. Um, just taking a quick break and checking some stuff out. One follow-up to that little Raider that I was looking at at the uh, yard sale. Uh, it was one owner, had 54,000 miles on it. Uh, the guy had, that had it now is the second owner technically but uh he had just got it so um so it was a cool little thing i've never seen one of those before and uh now i'm suddenly interested in them so uh we're headed to mountain city from here So this is the good and the bad of why we take the back roads. I'm just going to show you this one over here first. What do we got here? This is old Suburban. So I, I'm not going to, I don't know much about this, it's pretty cool. But then he's got a whole bunch of VWs over there. It obviously turns into these buggies like this. Which are pretty awesome. But now, now, are you holding your breath? This is what we got over here. Look at these. That one. Oh my God, I'm in love with this one. But two. This one's a little bit rougher, obviously. But look at this one. The bed is really clean. Super clean. Only any rust in the back. Solid. Here's the inside. Wow. Look at okay. this thing. Wow, all the original dash, definitely has the old truck smell, but nothing too terrible. Look how solid that is. Like if, if this was up north, it'd be salted out. The salt would have killed it by now. Let's see what it looks like over here. Uh, it's a little bit harder to see on this side, but it looks pretty clean. Uh, it does have a motor in there, no radiator. Uh, let's see what we got going on in here. Wow, this would be an incredible project. 
Look at that thing. I love it. Wow. Four wheel drives in. That's good to go. So, hey, I think we should call and see how much he wants for this thing. Look at that. So, I have no idea what motor that is. But, that's the least of my worries. How do we get it home? That's my worry. Wow. All right. To be continued. Okay, so here's an update on the Jeep trucks. I talked to the guy. Uh, he was trying to sell them as pair, if possible, for 4500 bucks. He had a bunch of other parts that went with the one. Uh, 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 we were, we're really thinking about this. That's what scares me, right? Uh, part of the problem is how do you get them home? We even look, or have already been looking at shipping, see what that would cost. Probably going to pass on them, but they're really, really cool. He said the motors in both of them work. They're, they had 360 in them. Uh, yeah, it's hard to drive away from them, but uh, yeah, those were cool. The, the green one, I fell in love with that thing, so it's going to be on my mind all day. Um, who knows, maybe it will come home at some point, but we'll see. So, uh, anyways, we got down the road. We're only about a mile from where those trucks were at, and we're at this antique place here that Pam wanted to stop at. We're in Damascus, Virginia, West Virginia, I don't know, but I want to show you this little MR2. How awesome is that car? Really nice looking car. Oh, look at that. So here's something you never see. I hope you can see this. It's got an old bag phone, cell phone in the inside of it. That's cool. What a neat little car. So, all right, we're going into Mojo. Gonna have some neat. Probably get coffee. All right, uh, we're stopping for a quick drink, and we just made it into Kentucky, and this Jeep is sitting in the parking lot, so we're going to. Got some pink decals, pink seats on the inside, all that stuff. Looks like it's got a lift on it. Okay, so we're just looking at the Jeep in the parking lot, and I met Denver. He's telling them about a trail, Little Shepherd Trail. Trail. And uh, can you just give a quick description of it up there? Uh, it's an overlook of all the top of all the Pine Mountain. You see all of eastern Kentucky through it, and. It's a nice drive out through there. You'll see all the animals. And the, yeah, specifically and which the ones? The, the, the birds. Yeah. Everything so you got them. that, right? So yeah. we're going to see if we can get the pink Jeep up there. Uh, he said it's pretty, pretty tame trail, so the Jeep should make it. So that, that's awesome. Thank you very much oh, for telling me about that. Okay, we made it to Creech Overlook. Had no idea what it was called till we got here, but uh, we're here, walking up to it now. So let's I'll give you a view.
Alright, so we are off the trail. We made it to Hazard, Kentucky, right? Uh, shout out to Denver for the awesome uh, recommendation on that uh, trail. Little Shepherd Trail, right? Yeah, Little Shepherd Trail. Pam, Pam was our trail boss. She did yeah. an awesome drive driving of it. <laughs> it was so, pretty cool. For a bunch of Flatlanders, we had a blast. So hopefully you enjoyed the uh, video from that. We're headed, still trying to make it to uh, Red River Gorge yeah. tonight. It's roughly 7 o'clock and I think the GPS says well, we said we weren't using GPS. I didn't say anything about the GPS. <laughs> no, we're about an hour and a half from there, so we'll see how close we can get tonight. So, onward we go. <laughs> well, you might notice we're not at Red River Gorge. Uh, Pam and I were on our way up there and uh, we kind of looked at each other and realized how close we were to home and decided to just go ahead and uh, make our way back home. Uh, it's a little bit bittersweet. We wanted to check it out and see what's there. We, neither of us had ever been there before, but uh, it's close enough that we can make our way back there sometime. Um, but it was nice to be able to come home, be able to chill out on Sunday and get ready for the work week too. So uh, yeah, so it, it has been a few days that we've been home and uh, catching up on things like that. So, in the meantime, go out and get yourself one of these things, shut your GPS off, head down some back roads, see what you can find. Uh, it's always cool to meet the different you know, people you meet and, and the things you find out through them uh, that are in their local area, like uh, that road that uh, Denver told us about. So thanks again, Denver, for that if you're watching. Uh, that was an awesome little adventure that we didn't expect the entire time and uh, just happened across and he was nice enough to tell us about that. Uh, yeah, and, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that we used our uh, map 100% of the time uh, making our way through there. There was occasion when we turned on the GPS just to get us from one town to the next. Uh, just made it a little bit easier to uh, enjoy the scenery and things like that. So, um, what else I got? We didn't buy any trucks while... Uh, we were down there, even though it was awfully tempting. I really liked that Dodge Raider that we saw. And uh, by the way, if you're listening and you haven't sold it, give me a call. So, uh, but hopefully you have sold it because that's the last thing I need is another one. But I did think that was such a cool little truck. So anyways, uh, put something in the comments below what you thought about this little adventure. If you can try that, uh, places you've been to, things you've found along the way. Uh, I love reading about that stuff. and. Uh, if you're still watching this, hit the subscribe button. You know we're going to be doing more things like this and, and uh, hopefully sharing that with you. And uh, definitely give me a thumbs up if you like this one. And uh, until the next one, we'll see ya. Boom. Sometimes